Hello there and a very warm welcome to Jane Jewett Art. If you're thinking about using oils for the first time, or if you're considering switching from acrylic paint to oil paint, then this video is for you. I'll explain the main differences between the two mediums and also talk about the advantages and the disadvantages of each. Whilst I'm doing that, I'll share the process of painting this portrait of Lily Collins. I painted the left hand side in acrylic and the right hand side in oil paint. So let's begin with acrylics. Acrylic paint dries quickly. You'll find it's dry to the touch in about 15 minutes. This has advantages and disadvantages depending on what you're painting and what your personal painting style is. The fast drying time means that it's great if you want clean lines and you don't want to blend. So it works really well for my modern sort of cubist style of painting where there's no need to blend any colours and each shape needs to be bold and defined. Acrylics dry so fast that if you do want to blend them it's a bit of a race against the clock. There is a solution if you do want to increase the time that you have to blend your acrylic paints and that's using a fine mist sprayer. If used correctly, you can make your acrylic paintings look almost identical to oil paintings, but I don't use one because I just prefer to use oils. I've linked a video in the description that shows you how to use one of these. Because acrylic paint dries so quickly, if you make a mistake, you'll either need to soften the paint and scrape it off, or try to paint over your mistake, which can leave bumps in your painting. When I paint in my personal style, I need to paint at least two layers on each area to get a thick, bright covering of colour. This can be time consuming and is sometimes a bit boring to do because I've already painted the area so it's no longer really a creative pursuit once I'm painting over a space I've already painted. I also find the colours aren't as bright. Oil paint tends to be far more vibrant than acrylic paint. One positive thing about acrylic paints is it's very easy to clean your brushes, you just clean them in water. If you let the paint on your palettes dry, then you'll need to peel or scrape off the paint, which can be super fun and relaxing, or a royal pain in the backside depending on your disposition. I got fed up with doing this and switched to disposable palettes, which saved me a lot of time, but they do cause more waste. If you get acrylic paint on your clothes and it dries, good luck trying to remove it. If the phone rings and you get distracted for more than an hour or so, having left a brush with paint on it, then it's likely your brush will also be ruined or turn into a new tool that you can use for oil painting. I painted with acrylic paints for about 10 years before I even considered using oil paints and I wish I'd actually been a bit braver and tried them sooner because they just give you so much more variety and so many more options but I definitely like to use acrylic paints too and I can only achieve this effect that I'm painting here now with acrylic paint. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of oil paints. They certainly don't behave like acrylics, they dry super slowly and depending on the thickness of your paints and any mediums you use, your paintings can take up to a year to fully dry. This can be tricky if you have a commission that you need to send to a customer, but don't worry, I'll cover a solution for that later on in this video. The fact that the paint dries so slowly is a real advantage if you're working on a painting that you want to look particularly realistic. You can come back the next day and your paint will still be like it was when you left it and you can work wet into wet which means you can manipulate the paint for a long time on the canvas. You can thicken the paint, thin it down or wipe it off if you make a mistake. I find oil paint very forgiving and easy to work with. 
and it feels like a more creative experience because you have so many options. When using oil paint, it's best to work a thin layer first and then build up the thickness over time. Work thin to thick and think about pushing the paint around at the start and then sort of putting it on like stickers towards the end. If you look at some of the old masterworks in oils, they certainly weren't afraid to use thicker paint. If you get up close to these paintings in museums, you'll see a huge landscape of texture, which is a really lovely thing to look at, in my opinion. You'll ideally need different brushes for oil painting. They generally need to be a bit sturdier and able to hold more paint. Some people may be put off using oil paints because they think that you have to use complicated mediums. But there's no need. I'll link a video at the end where I explain how you can paint with no mediums or paint thinners. I use oil paint completely safely and free from solvents and toxins. You also don't need to clean your brushes when painting with oils. I just pop my brushes in sunflower oil at the end of a session and then I wipe them off on a paper towel when I'm ready to use them again. Like hair when it gets a bit greasy, you can wash your brushes in soap from time to time if you want them completely oil free, but there really is no need to use turpentine or white spirit or anything like that. I think quite a lot of artists begin with acrylics and then move on to oils eventually, but sometimes they can be put off thinking that oils are maybe only for expert, trained artists and that they're somehow complicated to use and more difficult to work with than acrylics, which really isn't true at all. The other advantage with oil paint is that it doesn't dry overnight, so you waste less paint. You can even keep your open paint in the freezer and it won't dry out at all. If you're working on a commission that you need to send off to the customer and you're doing it in oil paints, then you can use something called retouching varnish, which will allow the painting to be protected, but the oil paint can continue drying through the varnish. And then you can just tell your customer to take the painting for a final varnish in sort of six months time ideally, something like that. It's not really a practical advantage, but there's just something so satisfying about painting with oils. They have such a lovely creamy texture and you can relax more as you're painting because you know that you have more time to blend and more time to correct any mistakes that you may make along the way. What do you think? Which medium do you prefer, oil paint or acrylic? Let me know in the comments below. Personally, I think each medium has its benefits and its uses, and both are great for different things. I don't think I could paint my portraits in my signature style using oil paints. I find acrylic much better for that style. But if I wanted to paint this dog portrait in acrylic paints, I think I'd find it a lot more difficult than painting it with oils. If you've enjoyed this video, it would really help if you give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. I make a new video almost every week about life as an artist here in France, uh, painting tutorials, and lots of tips and advice as well if you're a professional artist or thinking about becoming one. So until next week, take care, stay creative, go out there into the world and make lots of wonderful things, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.